Hello all, hope you are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. To all of my subscribers, hey, how are you? And to everyone else that just decided to pop in for a moment, to spend some time with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate that. I am back with you all today because I am here to do a update on this beautiful bag that I have here. And this is my Coach Lane Satchel. And I didn't realize until preparing for this video, I've already had this bag a year and a half. And so I'm a little bit late with uh, coming back with an update on it, but I'm here with you now. So um, hope you enjoy. Again, this is my Coach Lane Satchel. And um, I got this back in August of 2020. And I absolutely love this bag. Um, there is very little wear and tear on this bag because I am conscious of where I sit it down and what I wear when I carry it so that I don't get color transfer or anything like that. Or when I do take it out, um, again, I'm always conscious of where I sit it down because it's such a light color. This is in the color chalk. I just don't, I, I didn't want to get um, stains or anything like that on it. And then the moment I'm done uh, with it, I put it right back in the dust cover and I put it away. So let me go ahead and show you. This is the bottom of it. And as you can see, it has four feet. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I've had this bag a year and a half already. I've used it about five, six, maybe seven times. Well, no, that's exaggerating. I'm gonna say a good five times I've carried this bag. And as you can see here um, on the bottom of it, there is no corner wear on my bag. And yeah, all four corners look absolutely gorgeous. Um, and the sides here, no corner wear here, no um, wear or tear there. And as you can see, just looking at the bag itself, um, it's part of it is the mid, middle section is pebbled and then the bottom and the side is smooth leather. And again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm always conscious of what I wear when I carry this bag because I don't want to get color transfer. So as you can see, there is no color transfer, no stains, no marks or anything like that on, on my bag. Let me show you the top. All you see there is the beautiful color chalk with the um, gold hardware on it. Oh, I love it. I can't tell you how much I love that. Now this charm here uh, did not come with this bag. It did come with a charm but, but it was just a plain uh, leather charm and I took that off and I attach this one instead. I got this one, um, maybe last year I got this charm. And when I purchased it, I had this bag in mind. So I added this charm to it, just to give it a little more oomph. So with that, let's go ahead and get to the inside of the bag. Okay, so now before I get to the inside of this bag, let me just share with you one con. And I don't even really wanna call it a con, but it's just a little bit of an inconvenience for me. Okay, so you see the top of this bag. See, see those beautiful zippers there? For me, getting in and out of this bag is a bit of a little, little bit of a nuisance. And I'll tell you why. Because of the location of the top handles, and even though you can lay them flat like that, they don't lay all the way flat. They don't stay down. This is as, as far down as they would they go. You can see there. And for me, and it could be because I have big hands, I don't know, but getting in and out of this bag with the zipper is, that's the little nuisance part for me. Just getting in and out of it. And then when I go to close it, um, see there? It gets in my way a little bit. But other than that, that's the only con I have about this this uh, this satchel, just getting in and out of it with the two top zippers on there. But I love the bag so much, I can live with it. 
but let me go ahead and give you a peek inside of how I had it packed for this weekend. And um, I don't have too much in there because um, I went to dinner with some friends. It was uh, one gentleman, um, it was his birthday, and his wife um, treated him to dinner at this gorgeous Italian restaurant. So all together it was um, 11 of us. This is what, this is how I had it packed. I didn't have very much in there because whenever I go out to dinner like that, I'm always conscious of the dinner table. And I don't like to have a big bag because I never know what the seating is gonna be like, what type of chair it is. And I don't like to put my bag on the floor if I can help it, especially in a public place. I don't like to put my bag on the floor. And the chair, you never know what type of chair it is if you could hang your chair in the back, on the back of the chair. Or in this case, I, could, I wouldn't be able to because um, I carried it top handle. And, um, and if I do have to sit it on the table, I don't want it to be super, super huge where it takes up too much room on the table. So whenever I go out to dinner, I try to keep it at this size or smaller. And not only that, it was a neutral color, so no matter what I decided to wear, this would blend with it. And actually what I had on, I had on dark brown leggings, I had on a black tank top, and I had on a cream colored um, blazer and I had on tan um, short boots so it all blended well together so this bag worked beautifully but let me go ahead and show you what I carried inside all right so for starters I had my little pouch here with um and I've shown you, I've shared this with you before. It has there are some hand sanitizing um, little wipes here at the bottom of it in the first little zipper. Um, yeah, so little hand sanitizing wipes, and then in the second zipper, I have I just picked up the whole thing and threw it in there. These are um, uh, uh, feminine wipes, and then I also have some uh, liners in there. So that's, that's what I had in the second zip section. And then at the very top, I have, and this is because I wasn't paying attention because I have, <laughs> in my bedroom, I have a, um, a, a, a stand with uh, four, four drawers in it. And then I keep um, some of my essentials in there. And um, I have one drawer I have for mask. I have another drawer for this type of stuff. And then I have another drawer, drawer just for different type of wipes and things like that. <laughs> when I pulled it out, I was in a rush to get out the door. When I put, put the wipes in here, I put in facial wipes and I didn't mean to put in facial wipes, but that's fine. Um, for worst case scenario, if I needed to wipe my hands for something, I could easily use these so it is what it is and the second thing um never leave home without my eyeglasses and let's see and th there's a little slip pocket on the front wall here i have my um car keys in there and then i also have now this is what I decided to use for my electronic pouch. I got this pouch, it came with another bag set. Um, I forget which, but um, because it was light in color, I just decided to put my brick for my cell phone, my earbuds, and then the charging cord. So this is what I use to house these things. The next thing that I have, um, oh, now again, I don't use it. I've never used it. In fact, I forgot this this bag uh, had a um, shoulder strap, but I just keep the shoulder strap in the bag, in the bag. And wow, it's gorgeous. I should try it one day, but yeah, this is the uh, shoulder strap that goes along with the bag. Now for my change, I decided to um, keep um, the color scheme going here. So I use my coach little um, 
card case here with a little zip for change as a top. And I just recently used this with, with something else. I don't remember what. But this is my little case I decided to use for my change. And again, it has the chalk color with the monogram print, the light colored monogram print. And it has the coach logo there in the front in gold, which I think is so pretty. And then I decided to use the matching wallet. Um, again, chalk, light, mo light colored monogram print, gold hardware there and i didn't have much in there um just a few cards again <laughs> no cash i very seldom have cash and so this is oh i forgot this this wallet has a zip on the back i could have put my change back here oh well <laughs> i know for next time i in fact I'm, I'm sure i knew that was back there i just forgot but that's my wallet and then for my, do I have anything else in here? Let me see, no. All right, so for my catch-all, I decided to use this little beauty, and this is a little pouch that I got from Target a couple of summers ago, and I just think it's adorable. It reminds me of, um, what's some dog's name? The, the dogs with the little, um, I can't think of the name, but it reminds me of them. And this is what I decided to use for my catch-all. And I downsized some of my things that um, I carry with me on a daily basis in my catch-all because I didn't need it for um, Saturday night when I went out. But what I did decide to take with me, this is my face powder that I got some time ago. But, well, no, I got that. I think I got this this summer. This is my face powder. And then I was able to fit in here with ease my Vaseline little container that I keep refilling. Then I also have in here my feminine spray. I also have, this is my um, cuticle oil that I made for myself and put it in a cute little spray bottle. I also have um, some hand sanitizer that I just, in a little container that I keep refilling. Then, as always, I have my um, Tylenol in the Elite bottle. And y'all, I, I needed these uh, this weekend. I don't know why I caught a mean headache um, yesterday, but I did. Um, I also have in here, my eyebrow pencil. I have my lip liner. And this one is in the chestnut color. Um, I just say chestnut because I'm thinking of MAC, but that's not MAC though. But it's the same color as the chestnut uh, by MAC. And then I have my Nivea hand cream that I have to refill often. This little container, I love it because it fits in any size catch all with ease, but it's so tiny. I have to refill it often, but a little minor inconvenience, but I can deal with that. And then I have my sharpener. I have my um, little small powder brush. And then I have in here some lip gloss by um, Anastasia. Anast I think that's how you pronounce it. Anast Anastasia lip gloss and it's as you can see it's in the brown color and I actually like that a lot I bought it just on a whim just to try it and I'm so glad I did and that is everything that I have in this little catch-all and um, yeah so let me go ahead and put all of that back Okay, so now that all of that is back, let me go ahead and give you a quick peek at the inside of the bag. If you can see it, you might not be able to because it's kind of dark. It's picking up dark on the camera, but um, this is what, that's the interior. That's the color of the interior there. And it is very clean, no marks, no smudges. 
So anything like that. And on the inside of this bag, um, it is lined with um, material. It's it's like a cottony material, some sort of cotton. Um, may have some a little bit of polyester mixed in, mixed in with it. The, the coach logo is uh, printed in the material and like satin. Let's see if I can put it, pick up here so that you can see it. You can see it a little bit there. It's written. And that is everything. Um, the back side of it has um, a, a zipper section, of course. And then on that, you have the Coach Creed here. And then on the other side, you have one slip pocket. And I didn't have anything in that slip pocket. And that is everything uh, regarding this bag. And again, no wear and tear. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Okay, so I've repacked my bag. Why did I do that? Because I'm just, <laughs> I don't know why I repacked it because I am about to put it away. I, I just force of habit. You guys are looking at a bag that has been in use uh, again for a whole year and a half. And as you can see, it wears very well. Um, no, it, it to, I mean, it still looks brand new. I love it. I love it, I love it. Everyone, this is a year and a half update on my Coach Lane satchel. So with that, I hope you all enjoyed my update as, as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. And again, I really do appreciate you all uh, taking your time to spend some of it with me. And I hope this information was helpful in, on this bag, just in case if anyone is interested in maybe purchasing one. If I don't even know if Coach still makes this bag, but you might see it in um, um, some of the uh, discount stores like I did when I got this one. I think I, I got this bag from Marshalls. So if you see it and you might be interested in it, I hope this information was very helpful. So with that, everyone, as always, I really do appreciate you um, coming to spend some of your time with me. I so enjoy doing this for you. And until next time, everyone, please be safe and bye-bye for now.